Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So uh, as, I, as I've probably mentioned several times in videos, I have a blogging course that I get a lot of questions for. It's a, it's a free blogging course. You can, you can check it out and sign up right here and it teaches you how to create a blog. You know, all, the, all the things that I learned in, in growing Simple Programmer from like you know, 10 visits uh, a, a week, which are mostly my mom, <laughs> and to, to, uh, to over a million visits per year. Uh, but, but definitely check that out. And I get some questions from this. And this is a good question. This question is from uh, James and he says, I just got your first lesson about blogging and things you say clearly make sense. Blogs need to be specialized. But after reading it, I came up with a question. I am someone who just got into programming with zero knowledge and zero experience. So I was gonna blog about things that I learned in my personal thought about things related to programming, which means I'll be all over the place, uh, complete opposite from specializing. Of course, I will be specialized on something when I'm more knowledgeable and experienced, but for now, I don't know anything to specialize myself. I just wanna hear uh, about your opinions on blogging when the person is a complete newbie uh, any, as always, thank you very much. Have an awesome day, John. Sincerely, James. So James, this is, I think a lot of, I've gotten a lot of questions like this, so you're not alone here. You know, starting out as, as a developer, like creating a blog, by the way, for I still get this. If you are starting out, doesn't mean that you can't start a blog. Do it now, because it's gonna take you like two or three years to, 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 uh, to get an audience, to get people actually reading your blog, to establish your voice. I, I talked about finding your voice here, uh, to get your writing style, to, to get into the habit, to, all these things. It's gonna take some time. So start now, right? D don't, don't wait. Don't say I don't have enough experience. You know, learn in public. <laughs> it's a great thing. Great thing for multiple reasons because you will help people. I know you don't think you will, but you will because there are going to be people that are going are to learn from your example and it's also going to make you so much tougher. Learning in public is such an awesome thing to build your confidence, to build your ability to, uh, you know, to, 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 to break down some of the barriers. Sometimes we, are, we have this protective like shield and we're like, oh, I never fail, I never make mistakes. But when you're learning in public and you're falling on your face in public, I fall on my face in public all the time, right? You watch my videos, you're like, John, you shouldn't have said that thing, <laughs> right? Why did, you, why did you say that? But it doesn't matter because you know what? This is a truth, this is how, this is reality, right? And this is, and I learn from it, right? I, I learn a lot more from it when there's, there's 20,000 people looking at it and saying, uh, yeah, I don't think so, <laughs> right? So anyway, aside from that, uh, as far as, as a beginner blogging, specialize anyway in something right and it doesn't mean you know as a beginner you're gonna you're gonna have to you're gonna have a, a le to learn and i'm gonna draw something here so um so let's let's look at what's called uh this t-shaped learning actually you know what let me see i didn't i don't i don't have my pen so we're just gonna draw in the air here so so <clears throat> as a beginner you're gonna have this broad base right and you're gonna to need to develop that broad base. And as a beginner, you don't have any of that. So you're gonna to need to develop that. And that's gonna be broad. It's gonna be different areas, data, you know, algorithms, data science. It's gonna be different uh, program, some different programming languages, operating systems, concepts, right? The basic technology, web technology, mobile, whatever you, you do. And then you're gonna have this, uh, this deep place where you go deep. And you need to have that. That's what specialization is, right? Uh, I, I've got a whole playlist on specialization. <laughs> this is the most confusing thing for people. And I always have to convince you to specialize every single time. But watch this and, and let me just beat specialize into your head. I'm going to beat it in your head right now some more. For, but I'm doing it for beginners now, right? So you're going you're gonna to be learning. You're going to be learning a broad base. But do still pick some area to specialize. And even though a lot of your learning is going to be in different areas, you're going to you're gonna, your, your, your blog is still gonna be on some specialization. You don't have expertise in it now, but you're gonna learn the expertise and you're gonna share them as you learn them as you're growing deep into one area. Because you need to do it anyway, right? And, and you know, the, different, the only difference between you and, and a more experienced programmer is the more experienced programmer already has that base and they probably have like maybe a couple of spikes of different areas of specialization and they're gonna pick one of those and, and take that deeper. The only difference is that you are gonna be learning some stuff on the outside but don't share everything that you're learning, right? That's, that's, it's better to just share some specialized area where you're gonna, you're gonna devote 
a, a lot of your focus. Maybe you're learning, maybe the experienced person's learning looks like 10% to basics and 90% to some area of specialization. And maybe your learning looks more like 50% to the basics, to building the base, but 50% to that specialization. That, that specialization is still very, very important. It will make you distinct in the marketplace. It's, it's something that is, is critical. So don't ignore that and don't feel like just because you're a big, beginner, you don't have anything to share. You do. You're a unique person. You have a unique set of of experiences, life experiences, your message, you know, your, your environment, you can present things in a way and connect with people in a way that other people won't be able to, you know? A lot of people turn on my YouTube channel and they're like, who is that guy? I don't like him. I don't like the way he talks. I don't like the way he looks. I don't like the way he dresses and they turn it off. But other people are like, oh, I like every single video that guy does. It's awesome. I learn better than that, you know? And there's plenty of people saying the same thing that I'm saying. They're saying it in different ways. Some of them are saying it in monotone <laughs> voices, right? And they're not as animated, but some people prefer that or they, or they learn better from, from someone else. So don't ever assume that you have nothing to offer. You always have something to offer and you, and you will find, you know, this is a big world, over 5 billion people. There's gonna be people that connect specifically with you and your delivery style and, and what, you're, what you're doing. So anyway, hope that encourages you. Uh, you know, go forward and, and conquer, do it, take action. Uh, and, uh, and for all of you out there, take action. And if you wanna sign up for that blogging course, go check it out here. And uh, you know, it, I think it'll really benefit your career. So anyway, that's all I gotta say about that. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.